Brent Renault. He was a 51-year-old. He was killed near Irpin, that's the west of the capital, Kiev. It's also the place where just about a week ago a family and another man were killed, a mother and her two kids, uh, killed in their photographs. Uh, were taken by a New York Times photographer and shown around the world. Um, so a, a place where there has been heavy Russian shelling. Brent Renault was there to make a film about the refugee crisis. Uh, he wasn't there working for the New York Times. There were reports initially that he was on assignment for the New York Times because uh, his press pass, which he was wearing, was a New York Times pass. Uh, the paper later clarified that he had previously worked for them. He's also worked for Vice and HBO, for example. But he was there, it appears, uh, as an independent journalist. It appears that the car he was traveling in came under fire. Uh, and another American, Juan Arredondo, was in the car. Uh, he was wounded in this attack and, and taken to hospital where he gave a brief statement. We crossed one, the first bridge in Nirpin. We're going to film other refugees leaving. Mm -hmm. And we got onto a car. Somebody offered to take us to the other bridge. And we crossed a checkpoint and they start shooting at us. Um, so the driver turned around and they kept shooting. It's two of us. My friend is Bren Renault. And he's been shot and left behind. The first foreign reporter to have been killed. We know of at least one Ukrainian journalist who has been killed, a camera operator in, a, in the attack on the TV tower there in, in Kyiv.